What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Training Channel. Today is Sunday, May 31st, 2020. I hope everybody's having an awesome Sunday, awesome weekend. In today's video, I explain how I go in and actually make a conditional order per popular demand. A lot of people have been asking me how I place those, where that option is, and all of that jazz, thus why I am making this video. First and foremost, I want to make a disclaimer out there. Anything that I do say or show on today's video is simply for demonstration and educational purposes only. I am a true beginner when it comes to Thinkorswim, all the options and bells and whistles. I've always used Thinkorswim just for charting purposes and never to actually execute trades. So navigating through Thinkorswim, I'm still learning my way around it. Moving on guys, what are conditional orders? Conditional orders are simply what it sounds like. It's a buy or sell order that you can queue up that are tied to certain conditions or criteria, meaning uh, for technical uh, indicators, when something happens in action or price action, tie those buy and sell orders to those conditions. Now, I was able to blow up the uh, font and the display a, a bigger so you can see whenever I actually navigate through here. I am in simulated trading mode. So because I do have an active account with Thinkorswim or TD Ameritrade, I don't wanna screw anything up or forget to delete anything. So I am using the simulated trading option here. What we're looking at here is the SPY one hour chart. Again, just SPY one hour chart. I do have the Bollinger Bands um, on the actual chart and the MACD down below. Um, I'm going to be using these two indicators as examples on setting up these conditions. How do you get to the conditional wizard window? Well, there's a, a number of ways. I like to go to the trade tab. I like to hit um, you know, the, the bid or ask, but you can click on the price. You can hit buy. It brings up this window here and well, you can put in your number of shares, buy side stock. Um, if you look all the way to the far right, two buttons away, these two tiny ones, and this is the main reason why I wanted to blow up the font. You can see this a lot better. This little gear here right next to the limit, whether you put in day or good to cancel, uh, this little gear right here, this little guy, brings up the order rules. Uh, this is the first window that pops up. Price rules, I hit market. Um, whether it's a good to cancel day, uh, if you're buying in, I would suggest day. And this is a little screwy, a uh, little glitch here. You have to click the um, underneath the symbol. You see these boxes that light up once I uh, uh, roll my mouse over it. You have to click on it. It'll load up SPY. Again, I don't know. It's a little glitch there. And then right next to SPY, you have method. You click on it and then this little uh, window comes up these options come up you want to hit study and then you want to hit edits this brings us uh, up to the study order condition window this is where we're going to actually be setting up all of our conditions now it has queued up the simple moving average with uh, op open and close parentheses we want to delete that and first and foremost that is what i do um, and then on the this button right here that looks like a deem, you want to click there. Depending on what time frame, what time duration you're looking to trade, get in, get out, or whatnot, you want to select that. That's first and foremost. I already screwed up on that. Believe me. I like to trade the one hour chart. So we're going to uh, click the one hour chart, changes to one hour. Of course, this is um, SPY. Now, this is the condition preview. This is where once you build your uh, your condition it's going to show you where it would have executed that order in the past and it's going to use that as uh basically as an example for the future right so you can fine tune it to your liking because um you know we're going to start off with the macd so i'm going to actually load up the macd indicator here and literally you just right click on the chart studies edit studies and put in the MACD 
we're going to use the default settings so there we have it all right let's say that we like macd uh crossovers of the fast line crossing above the slow line so anywhere the blue line crosses above this tan line we want to execute it order how do we do that well we can go here add condition we're going to hit select condition we're going to hit study we're going to find macd and we're going to use the uh the, the default settings here it is the value that blue line it is the uh, value line so we want that's going to stay by itself and then these are choices that you can so crosses above uh the the value line crosses above study macd the average line and that's it if that's all we're looking for that's it nothing else um we can hit save and looky here it's going to show you an arrow of exactly where it would execute our order let's zoom in uh that's a little bit too big right here the blue line crosses over the tan line and it's going to execute our order on this bar again this is using an example as to where your order would execute and we can go back and actually see this you can fine tune this by hitting edit um, you know if you have particular parameters that you would like to use other than the default ones you change them here um, you can change what particular plot that you're looking for to cross above or below or greater or equal to or true or false this is where you build it it is that simple once you fine tune it and let's just say this is perfect um, this is exactly what we want we're going to hit ok everything set you can set your quantity uh, market limit order whatnot and then we want to hit save and it'll queue it up confirm and send and again it's going to put it right there order conditions the value crosses above the average and the one hour chart is true we hit send it's that easy that simple um, if you want to use something like the bollinger bands where the price closes above or below uh, either the midline uh, the upper band lower band let's go ahead and do that so let's actually start from the beginning again get to this order ticket here go off to the far far right hit that gear we're gonna hit markets it's gonna be day for the day symbol again we're just gonna click there it's gonna queue up spy method click there studies edits and then let's queue up the Bollinger Bands alrighty so we're gonna delete the simple moving average there and we're gonna change our time duration to one hour that is very very important guys depending on what time frame you are trading here is the time frames that you can choose and let's hit add conditions let's say we want to buy whenever price closes above the upper band here so we're going to add conditions we're going to hit the price the close crosses above we're going to find the study bollinger bands and this is where it is where whatever line that we want price to close above so let's hit the um, upper band closes above the upper band default settings save and these arrows are going to tell us where it would buy so see how the price closed above this band here this is exactly where it would execute that uh, that order same here here now here's something that i use religiously for my trading again using it as an example for my trading i want to make sure that the price closes above that upper band the way that i ensure myself 
that I get in, like for example, on this uh, candle here, if it went across that upper band, it would execute our buy order, but then it closed below it. I don't want to get in if it doesn't actually close above that upper band. I want to make sure that it closes above that upper band. What you have to do is you have to edit offset by one. Save, and there it is. If you missed it, it was on this candle that it had the arrow on where it would execute our order and it moved it to the right by one candlestick. Again, really quick, edit. If we go back to zero offset, that's, that's what this means. Offsetting the close by one. Save, and it's gonna move it back to this candlestick, but I actually want to get in on the open of the following candle as soon as the price closes above the upper band. We do that by hitting edit offsetting the close by one or if you want two whatever floats your boat that is how you do that save move it to the right once once you have your conditions all set up hit ok and down here in the description down below it'll put it in writing in words what you are trying to accomplish submit the following order by 100 shares of spy at current market price the order is valid only for the current trading day. Number two, wait until the following condition is satisfied. SPY study closed from one bar ago crosses above the Bollinger Band's upper band. One hour is true. This order will show a wait condition status during the waiting. Hit save, confirm and send, and it'll put it right there just so you know exactly what kind of an order you're putting up it'll send you'll be all set guys one last final tip before i let you go if you don't know much about coding or scripting in thinkscript here's something really neat once you actually uh, queue up your order here you can hit thinkscript editor and this is the line of code that was generated by your condition you can copy this line of code and actually paste it to actually run a scan, build a scan, or actually build a study in Thinkorscript. And if you haven't seen my uh, video about Thinkorscript scripting for your own algorithm, I'll link it down below in the description or put it somewhere here in the screen, top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right, somewhere around here in the video, at least in the description down below for sure. Um, uh, so you can learn how to build your own uh, strategy. I hope this helps you out a little bit. This was an extreme basic tutorial of conditional orders. I am very new to this, so I'm still learning, but I am loving it. This allows me to place orders, queue up orders, and then executing without me actually physically being there at the computer, even though that I'm always near a computer, guys. If you found this video helpful in any kind of way, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below what you thought about it, guys. Or if you have any questions, commenting down below or sending me an email, guys. Thank you, everybody. I hope everybody has an awesome weekend. You guys take care.